Roblox is absolutely crawling with disgusting, degenerate, and corrupt users, and recently one of these users was caught in the act of doing so. In this video, I'll be talking about how one of my friends got banned from a game for absolutely no reason, and how the owner of said game likes to abuse his power to get what he wants when he wants it. If you enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and let's get straight into it. So if you don't know the Roblox game, Fighting a School, it's essentially exactly what it sounds like. It's a bunch of players fighting in a school. It's a fighting game. I don't really know how it works or what the main objective of the game is, but it is a fighting game, and the community is actually fairly well known for being toxic. It's also a very recent game, it was made June 1st, 2024, and was literally updated today, and it's already accumulated over 42 million visits. That is crazy. I guess people just have crazy amounts of anger they just need to let out, huh? But despite this game's toxic community, it would seem that the owner himself is toxic as well. And you see, this is where the entire toxic, corrupt owner starts coming into play. You see, the owner of this game, Ethora, was recently caught abusing his power within the game, not only to let himself win and reign dominant over other players, but also to ban people for absolutely no reason. And one of those people that he banned just so happened to be my closest friend. And thankfully, my friend was able to capture the moment that he was banned, and I'll show the clip right here. You so lame. Oh. Yes, I know it's a short clip, but believe it or not, this short clip actually has a lot of info that proves that he was banned for no reason. So why don't we just take the time to analyze this short clip, shall we? So one of the first and more obvious signs of him banning for no reason is this chat. As you can see, the owner, Athora, says now you're getting banned, lol. Now the main reason that the owner targeted my friend in particular was because my friend said to him that he was being annoying as he was abusing his power within the game. And him abusing and being annoying within his own game can be proven as two people on this clip was calling him lame and saying to report him multiple times. Report him for You're so lame. Report him, report him, report him, report him. My he could be talking to anybody. While yes, this is true, this person that they're talking to has an avatar that looks very familiar. I feel like I've seen it before, but I can't quite put my finger on it. And if that's not enough proof for you, then the chat says owner beside it. So that's not something you can just get unless you're owner. Another thing I want to point out is that if you look over there, that's my friend's avatar. But my friend's avatar is also in the ground right here. So what's going on? Well, I'm pretty sure, you see that little, like, white strand in between them? That is a teleportation thing. That is from going from one to another, but going against the game's original code. My friend never touched the pad that teleports you into the fighting cage, or whatever. It was tele- his avatar was teleported there forcefully. Which could only be done through abuse of power. And even if you wanted to argue that, oh, he- kind of touched the pad his main hitbox did not also i'm again i've never played this game but i'm assuming that you need two people to fight i i feel like that is something that is required to fight and there's no one else it's only him also from one developer to another don't make your ban messages look like this give a reason because it makes you look completely at fault as well and also, make it to where you can list a time, because uh, whenever I make ban lists or ban functions, I don't make it to where it doesn't show a reason or it doesn't show a time. Both are required. So whenever you do something like this out of sheer pettiness because someone, because you felt insulted by someone calling you annoying for abusing your power, you, you know, it's one of those things. Anyways, yeah, you guys can have your own opinions about it. You guys can like him, dislike him, like his game, not like his game. It's completely up to you. I'm not trying to influence you. I'm just trying to put this out there because to me and to him as well and to others, it, it feels completely unfair. I personally do not think a developer should be able to abuse their power or use it to their advantage to uh, solve their problems in such a petty way. I feel like developers shouldn't 
have that sense of um, hierarchy over normal players. But yeah, that's just what I think. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Um, if you agree with me, nice. If you disagree with me, nice. I'm not going to hate you or anything for it. I'm not going to have any different opinion on you. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again soon. See ya!